Okay, so everyone good? Yeah, man. Yeah. Just I just gotta make yep. sure. Okay, three, two, one. What is up, everyone? This is the second episode of Biased Views, and today we are joined by the magnificent Riggy Seven Twenty. What's up, Riggy? What's going on there, my friends? How the fuck are you doing? Yeah, yeah. So if you guys don't know Riggy, he's a K-pop or not K-pop, but just a reaction YouTuber in general, and does K-pop skits as well. So make sure you go check out his channel down in the description down below. below. So Riggy, tell us a little about yourself to start us off. Ah oh, man, I'm just just like everyone else out there, you know what I mean? Just chilling, and then I just figured I start making videos one day. There we and go. And then uh, a lot of the a lot of the K-pop came in my life, and uh, they turned me on to the good graviness. And when I got into that good graviness, I was on a boat that uh, I didn't care which direction it was going as long as it was K-pop. And uh, I had some fun with it. I'm still having fun with it. I love what I do. I love making videos for the fuck toys, and uh, I love making people shit and giggle. Now, Riggy, looking at your channel, we see that you don't do just K-pop video, uh, reactions. And one thing I want to point out is you did a reaction with Logic. You know Logic, yes. right? Now, oh, yes. Now, Logic is my favorite rapper of all time. And mm. do you love Logic? Logic is awesome, man. You know, I, I love, like, the people that's not really mainstream. You know what I mean? I like to look for underground rappers, and he, to me, is an underground. He may be big and shot like that, but he's not like the Drake and all the other shit you be hearing nowadays. To me, he's he's underground, and I like that. I respect that. He's down to earth. You know what I mean? He speaks about real shit. Exactly. Now, would you say he has the best flow in the game? Well, best flow in the game, he, he is definitely up there because my best flow in the game right now is MGK and Hobson. That's who I'm loving right now. But he definitely has – he's in my top five. That's for a fit act. You know, you know Hobson left Funk Volume. Oh, yeah. He made his own shit now. Ill Mind um, of Hobson 8. No, no. Yeah, no. He, he That's that's something – he made his own new brand, his own new uh, label. Uh, he had a problem with that. I did a reaction to that actually once as, uh, as well. What, bad – or uh, false advertisement? Oh, wait, no. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, it was no, no, no. False. It, it was, it was a part. I think it was Ill Mind Hobson Eight. It was about the judge one. I think I believe it was. That's the, that, I'm giving the numbers right. Now and, um, uh, he he got screwed over. He got screwed over big time by one of his friend's brothers, and uh, he made his own shit. Now I can't remember the name off the top of my skull, but it's it, it's it's he made his own new label again. He left his he left Funk Volume, and he was like, you know what, I'm making my own shit. I like that top of my skull. And you you also said MGK. Right? Oh yeah, MGK, yeah, man. One of my I, favorite I songs love by MGK. him. Swing life away, baby. Cleveland. Swing it away. Till I die. I oh have yeah. No clue what they're talking about. Machine Gun Kelly. I know, I know. I mean, like all the. No, the you, you. I know MGK. <laughs> I know Hobson, and I know Logic. I just, you, you I used to listen to Sleeping with Sirens. Him and him no, I and. Didn't. Oh, I thought you did. Well, Sleeping with Sirens know, and they, Machine they Gun they Kelly. Had, they had yeah. a song together. They collabed. But yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, and on um, Bridgie. When I read your um, when I read when I read the comments of your reaction to Sriracha with Tech Nine and oh, I... <laughs> no, 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 listen, Sriracha. <laughs> yeah, no, someone said that they're going to unsubscribe because it's, it wasn't a K-pop reaction, and your response to that, I, I I've never respected a more like a response ever. You basically said like, go ahead or something. It was just like. Well well, yeah, like if people don't like what I do, like a lot, like I have that problem with a lot of my American fans. You know? I, mean, I, I like, like that American. They friend. come over here and they don't like the they don't they don't like the they don't like the K-pop I do. You know what I mean? So they unsubscribe a lot more quickly than I would say my K-pop family. You know what I mean? Like because the K-pop it's just it's just more like brought out. You know what I mean? America we're, we're very uh, close-minded. If it's not our way, we don't want to know about it. You know what I mean? So exactly. I'm used to that. I, I grow up with that every day. You know what I mean? That's why I really love the community of K-pop anyway because we all stick together. And that's why I get bugged out when I see fandom going against each other. Like, I, I, I love this community because we all stick together and we all help each other out. Yeah. For us to go on basically going against what we believe in, it, it kind of bugs me out sometimes. Oh, I'm trying to find the comment. Oh, I, oh, yeah. The comment was unsubbing. No Dean reaction? Shaking my head. And you said, I understand. Do what you oh, must. I, I, re I, re I remember that one. Yeah. yeah that, that person was asking me to do Dean for a while. You know what I mean? But I, I, I try to give the, the subscribers what they want most. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm not gonna get a Dean to like 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 at least a couple people react to it, I got other people telling me do ten people telling me do this video, do that video. I remember. So I'm just trying to get to cater to everyone. You know, what I mean, it's hard. You guys know how it is. It's you can't cater to everyone. I remember I screenshotted that comment because before we started the pot, like ever 
like uh, launch the podcast, we were talking about it. I told Matt, I was like, I want Ridgie on as a guest because he's probably one of the most realist reaction channels out there. Thanks, bro. I take that a lot of respect. I, I've, been, I've been bugging Matt about having you as a guest. We've been no, doing this for really two weeks. It. I know, but I, I just I wanted Ridgie on as soon as possible. <laughs> I take that as a very good compliment. Believe me, bro. Believe me. It's very, to me, it's an honor to be on your channel even doing this. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's really I really I, you know I, I know Matt you know I mean I wish you were there too Bryce and at KCon you know what I mean like yeah, he, he, I'm, gonna he, 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 I'm gonna be at the next one I'm gonna be at the next one he's like I, I don't want to go I'm gonna be at the next one <laughs> oh you gotta be man even me and Matt me, Matt was putting me on about day six they wasn't even putting uh like that wasn't the actual instruments and stuff like that I didn't mm-hmm. notice this his smart ass did though right away I was like how the <laughs> hell do you know that bro like how do you do this like All to right. me I was just enjoying it okay well Reggie. <laughs> You know, there's uh, obviously you know it. I don't think Bryson does, but the Mama Awards. Oh, I was gonna say Mama. <laughs> oh man, I got a little uh, backfire on that when I made a video go both both of BTS. Holy smackles! Oh yes, oh, that that is they, exactly they my question. Crazy. Right here, yeah. is it a good or bad thing the Mama Awards? Because what are the Mama Awards? It's like the big award show for K-pop. Oh, oh, that's when people are saying vote BTS mm-hmm. and vote EXO. So it's, yeah, it, it could it's, be it's a, like the Golden Globes for K-pop. That's yeah. what I consider it like. So it's like, is it a good or bad thing? Because it's like splitting up the K-pop World. community of vote. Who are we going to vote for? And like they hate on you for making a BTS well, video. But is it a good thing because it supports the groups in themselves and like gives them awards for doing well? Well, like. It can go in either direction you look at it. You know what I mean? If you want to – it's like a half cup, half full type of thing. You know what I mean? Like uh, you can look at it as saying like you're splitting them up. You know what I mean? Yeah. But at the same time, you could look at it saying like you just said about how everyone's being rewarded by their fans. You know what I mean? Like that. But that's no problem. The problem comes in when people start taking it as like it's a competition. Yeah. That's the point where – that's the problem Like where it's like, oh, mine is better than yours. There's yep. no need for anyone to be better. Why can't we just all be happy and doing this happy together? And it gets you to the point I mean? that I hate when people start trying to cheat to get votes, like doing the Making whole multiple accounts. Oh no, you can make multiple accounts. You make you can make wow. like ten k accounts. They're allowed to do that. Ten k, like a ten account. Oh, I thought you said ten k. But it's when people start like <laughs> trying to some people that did that, right? <laughs> people like try to change their IP address so they can vote as many times as they want. And it's just like well, you're gonna have your extremist fans, you know. What I mean, you're gonna have that, like that, yeah. that's that they know that, you know what I mean. But I believe for like, BTS it, that, to me, it's it, Bryson. <laughs> Bryson. Well, that is kind of me. I'm, I, I bleed for BTS, baby boy. You already know. <laughs> Jungkook. <laughs> Most of us hey, that's me. Sorry. BTS. Yeah. I, I, I just I just treat it objectively. I treat it like you know. What I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna go out there and say. Your group is shit because at the end of the day, I like every most group. Exactly. I see in K-pop, I like. So there's no point for me to be like, oh, that person sucks because then I'm I like them still. So why would I even say that? Why would I even like them if I wanted them to be shit? I don't know. It's just a lot of people. A lot of people are young. That's number one. You know that. When we went to K-Con, mm-hmm. there was a lot of young and set. Definitely. You know what I mean? Like I, I was probably one of the full one of the one of the oldest people probably there besides the parents. How old are <laughs> that you? was there to enjoy it. <laughs> I'm a 27. Jesus! <laughs> I thought you were like 22. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I know that I have this like golden looking, lucky like skin, I guess. I don't know. Everyone says my skin's like young looking. You got silky smooth skin. But it's the skin, beard Reggie. that gives it away though. When I get the beard and like I do now, that's when I start looking like a hacksaw Jim Duggan. I can't grow facial hair. I, lo- I started looking like a child if I grow facial hair. <laughs> I was thinking about shaving too, and it was like, uh, I don't know, it's no shave November. I asked the fans on Twitter, and they were like, nah, we're g- you should just tape it up. So I was like, you know what, that's what I'm going to do. Well, while we're on this, uh, the long hair, is that like a trademark for you, or is it like something that you've always had? Or By the way, the blonde looks um, good. Thank you, brother. Thank you. I really appreciate that, because that shit was uh, a little hard when I first thought I got out to it. Like, <laughs> Matt showed me what over there. That shit was pure, like, godly blonde. I-, I didn't even know how to deal with it, but I loved it, though. You know what I mean? Like, it just made me, I don't know, I felt, I felt like it was a new chapter of me. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the hair I was growing out just because, like, I just, I want a new look. Most of my life, I got spikes in my hair. You know what I mean? I just tried out that frohawk thing right before that. When, oh, God. And uh, I, I just figured, I was like, let me try something new. Let me grow this hair out. I always wanted to look like uh, Brad Pitt from Gladiator, Brad I think it was called, Pitt right? From Gladiator. Oh, no, Gladiator. it was Troy. I'm sorry. It was Troy. It was Troy. Troy. Yeah, there we go. Troy Bolton from uh, yeah. High School Musical? No, Troy. Oh. The no, green. Troy the movie that uh, Brad Pitt was Greece in with first. the blonde hair. Oh. So, uh, Riggie and Matt, I have a I question I don't know this question. You. I never do. 
Okay, so Reggie, are you colorblind at all? I just gotta... No, sir. Okay, so let's say you're colorblind, as in you can only see black and white, because there's different ways of being colorblind. So you can only see oh, black yeah. and white, but you can pick one other color to see. What will that color be? That green. Rhymed. You said green? Yeah. Oh, what, for money? No, green, <laughs> um, I, I, I oh. believe in auras and shit like that, you know what I mean? Oh. Like, I'm a very spiritual guy, and green to me is like a down-to-earth, Mother Earth type of... like. Oh, I, mean, I got it. I don't know. It was nature. Well, that, so, that's a deep response. I never. Oh. I actually yeah. thought about that when I'm you said very, it. Too. I'm very deep. I was even thinking about starting a like a real Cheetos talks like little like series I wanted to get going on and just talk about some serious stuff about how I feel because about especially like we were saying before about that whole election thing. Like I'm very deep, you know what I mean? And people don't know that about me, and I want to get people to know that more about me. But it's just it's it's hard to to jump into a certain thing where I don't even know what I want to jump into yet. You know what I mean? Like, exactly. It, 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 I just take the flow like today. I didn't know I was gonna make that video today. That came up with the last second thing. The video I he's talking still... about, by the way, is called what was it called? K pop crazy. K pop right? crazy. Yeah. On his channel. Um. So go check that out, by the way, if you want to know what he's referencing. Oh, that, uh, that video. Just, I, really, I was rolling. Really... Oh, I'm, I'm. I appreciate that, man. <laughs> I, I, I was. I didn't. Cause like you said, when you don't do a reaction, or uh, something your channel is based off of. You don't know how the response is gonna gonna be, especially when you're doing something creative. You know what I mean? So oh, yeah. It's like you don't know. So when I just started seeing the views, my boy's like, "Yo, it already got 20 views." I'm like, "Bro, I'm used to that right now." You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it, I, I'm I, I look for the likes. That's what I'm I, I look forward to. That lets me know: Do I do something more similar like this? Do I do? You know what I mean? Like, that's yeah. my indicator of like how do I go about the next video or the next skit per se. I love it. We, yeah. we, we need we need like a we need to do a skit soon. We haven't done one in a while. Yeah. Oh, I was I was gonna ask you that. I was like, when when are you coming up with a skit? I was thinking we get all the YouTubers we, together at KCon and we do we a nice little to... dance cover or something, guys. <laughs> oh man. That yeah. that would be cool though at KCon. We we definitely a KCon's. Oh my, that would be amazing. Imagine if we got like a crowd of like. At least like fifty people to do a skit with. Yeah, we'd be like, you know, you, oh, we know, oh, you, oh. no, Richie, you could do a K-pop crazy too, where you, you like, you play something in your hotel room, and like a crowd of like fifty people come running to your hotel room. <laughs> oh, you, you just, you, right when you, I'm just saying this, I'm, I'm visualizing and making videos in my head. I already got more ideas that I, I didn't even think of. Like for one, uh, that that little that little mannequin challenge thing. I can I just seen that yeah, in my head when you said that yeah. for people, and we can just do a K-pop mannequin thing or something. You haven't heard just about that, Bryce? Crazy. What's something. a mannequin challenge? It's oh, um, man. everyone pretend like it's a kind of like the Harlem Shake, but a little bit more. Oh creative. no, I saw that on YouTube. It on and not and on Facebook. It was this couple, and the girl was in a bed cheating on her boyfriend, and yep. like, I saw. I okay, saw I, I, I know what you're talking about now. Like they they just stand still and like it kind of switches frames. Exactly. Yes. Yes. And it's just, just sitting there, they're walking around. Everyone's just standing there, and like it, it stopped in the middle of what they were doing. I think I think that's just a cool idea, and it's so that would be fun to do with everyone. All right. Oh so... yes, especially with like you, you saw how we was Matt when we were over there. We, we we had the little react crew going on over oh, there. Oh yeah. Man. This time we got to make it three times the size, bro. That that was so fun that night. Like I I will never forget that night for as long as I live. That, that was fun. That was awesome. What you guys do? Oh, you don't want to know. Yo, we God. went to McDonald's. <laughs> we were walking around. We were chilling with the car. Hold we on, Reggie. Bro, it was just... Were you were you in the car when Matt hit the pole with his car no, no, at McDonald's? No, 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 no. Matt no, hit a pole. Not. He told me about Matt that. Matt hit, hit a pole. <laughs> you hit a still <laughs> object. Us the dead. <laughs> you hit a still object, Matt. Stop. It's it's not as impossible as you think. Oh. Man. But moving on from that, because we, we never I just, asked you. I linked up a little bit earlier, though. That would have been cool. So Matt, we were linked up a little. Bit that, that early yeah, age. man, this would it would have been even more lit. So Matt, what was if you were colorblind, and you could only pick one other color to see, what would it be? I, I agree with Reggie. I picked oh, green. Because I thought, but it, 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 my choice would just be because the majority of the Earth is green. Well, I would pick blue, so I could tell. Well, actually, I could still, still probably. So I'd pick blue so I can see the sky there. <laughs> you can see the sky even if you don't pick blue. But, I know, but like the. It's just blue's my favorite color, man. Let me let me live. let me live my life. Well, moving back on to K-pop. Oh no, I, I totally agree. Blue's a blue's a calm color. I believe that. Yeah, yeah. blue is an aura color, right? Yeah, I think. I don't yeah, know every every color's an aura. There's, there's colors that we don't even know about yet. Well, we mm -hmm. can't see yet. Try to think, think of a new color. You can't. Exactly, you can't think of a new color. That blows my mind. <laughs> <laughs> And to think of it, there's a hundreds, hundreds of more out there that 
Oh man, like I said, I'm very spiritual. I do a lot of reading about that, and I just can't wait till I actually achieve that enlightenment. You're you're a philosopher, Richie the philosopher. I love philosophy. <laughs> the philosopher. I never heard of myself like that before. <laughs> oh god. There goes Bryson Stowe. <laughs> well, uh, okay, Bryce so. Bryson Doggy. <laughs> uh, back to K-pop. I wanna take it back to K-pop really fast. You're doing so good, man. <laughs> oh. We living K-pop. We. We yes. Yeah, th- taking it back. We live there, baby. Yes, well, Bryson does, and he he like he's that guy who wants to get on the boat to go to K-popville, but he keeps refusing to because he doesn't want anyone else to know he wants to. I, I I'm like a lyricist guy, so like that's why I like Logic. Oh yeah, oh yeah, my boy. Actually, I I, love I, lyrics. If you ever see the reaction to one of my boys' videos, he reminds me of Logic a lot too. Like he spits quick like him. He's got the lyrics. Oh man, like. Ooh. When you I watch him in MGK, like I really just think of my boy sometimes. Did you did you listen to Bobby Tarantino his most recent oh mixtape? God, no, I didn't. Actually. Dude, you oh, need to got, listen to forty four. Listen to forty four bars, Richie. If you listen to forty four bars, your mind will be blown. This sounds like a logic fanboy chat. Right I'm gonna now. be mind fucked. I'm looking forward to this. Look forty, just straight forty four bars. That's that's the only that's the only song I want yes, you to he, listen he to. He gets it. No, like he gets Richie, it. Richie, you don't understand. <laughs> he this song, gets it, this Bryson. song is amazing. Back to K-pop, because I don't care about that. Sorry, Bryson. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> oh, man. You guys remind me of the Honeymooners. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is a this is for everyone, but I want to ask Riggi first. Let me, tell, let me tell you about a young man. Shut up. That's logic. <laughs> this is for Riggi first. Who, in your opinion, yes. this is biased views, so be completely biased about it, but who do you oh, okay. think is the most talented K-pop group. Not necessarily your favorite, but what group do you think has the most talent in all of K-pop? Well, I'm going to go with BTS. That's just, that's just me. Like, they're my favorite for a reason. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, like I said, I'm not saying nothing bad about anyone else, but it just stuck out to me more with, like, their, their English way they be singing their, their English words when they be do it. Like, we got covers from Jungkook, Jin, you know what I mean? We got, we got all types of good grades. Mm-hmm. We got rap dancing we got the the lyrics come on now you know what i mean like we got the way they sound the way they move like i don't know like i, I see a lot of bts to me and other groups like i don't know like there's other groups i, I find really talented like bap vix exo you know yeah, what i mean but like BAP too bap i love that i say bap it's bap i know a, a lot of believe me a lot of fuck toys get mad at me when i be saying that but you know what i mean i am who i am and i do what i do and that's why they fucking love me anyway so i love i love your fan I, 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 I love your fandom name i love that <laughs> i love that yo i i was thinking about it one day i was like hey i was watching philip the franco he called everyone uh beautiful bastards and i was like <laughs> i want to i want to be able to call my uh subs that so i was like I, I, one video was like fuckers and then i just Invented fuck toy. I don't know. I don't know. It just came to me. Everyone asked me, "What's a fuck toy?" I said, "A fucking machine." That's about it. <laughs> I love that. Well, Bryson, what about you? What about me? Most talented K-pop group, in your opinion? and uh, in my uh, and NCTU. NCTU, the group that has two songs and you only like one of the songs. The seventh. I was about to say that that's that's my favorite one out of the whole NCT group. Anyway, though, yeah, I do agree with you on that. They are. Very, I I was feeling their shit. Second, I saw it. I'm kind of upset they don't come out with that much anymore. They had um, N- what NCT 127? Yeah, that, yeah, that, that was good. Taeyong and Mark. Yep, and then there's five others that you don't care about. Yeah, I don't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just anything Taeyong is in, I love. I don't know why, but he just his his raspy voice. Bryson has a man crush. Open your eyes. At least he's got a K-pop man crush. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Like, a lot of people. Like I was, I, I didn't. I didn't even know if he was going to be into it when I first started watching him, especially when he, when he was reacting to it. Like, he didn't seem that much into it. But look what happened. It's turning even Bryson into a fucking K-pop fanatic where my, he has his own My name crush. is B-Dragon. It. It's B-Dragon. B-Dragon? You got it, B-Dragon. <laughs> Sounds like he's a G-Dragon from Big Bang. That's the point. That's yeah, the point. <laughs> G-Dragon used to be his man crush. Um, I but, barely know a lot about Big Bang, too. That's the sad part. I got to get into that more often, man. Oh, yeah, they're legends. Oh, oh no. man! Oh, believe wow. me, I, no, when I they found are. out BTS looks up to them, and like I was mm-hmm. like, "Oh man, you, you just you just sold me bang, right bang, there! Bang. You just sold me!" Bam, bam, bang, <laughs> bang, bang, bang! I was just watching this little kid on doing that. Oh god, it's hysterical. Well, <laughs> to answer my own question, um, personally, yeah, I'm interested to hear yours because you, you you you're like a scientist. You break shit down. Oh, and yeah. You start looking at it from all my atomic level. Oh, he, he, he does flatter he does me. it too much. He does it too much. He flatter me. 
Yeah, um, but it's it's good to have that type of person around, you know what I mean? So you can also have a different perspective exactly. and not just the way that you look at it. If from. you have too many Bryson's, it gets more Hold annoying. Hold up. No, it but gets... that's why you guys fit together so perfectly. The contrast. You're the total opposite, you know what I mean? Yeah. You compliment him in his own ways, and he compliments you in his own ways, you know what I mean? You flatter me, that's, Richie. That's what's good about your channel. You guys find the ground level. Like, when he says his shit, you say your shit, you find, like, the ground level, and you break shit down. So... Both sides of the fans could do it. That's why I'm shocked that you guys don't get more like like other music in your shit as well. Because I think it would be it would be great to have other people from America looking at K-pop. You guys could attract a lot of uh, people into that, and I think even have some people like it. Ooh, that would, that would be nice. Oh, and one thing, Reggie, a oh. lot in a lot of the reaction. Oh, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> go, just go. You're just gonna cut me off the entire time. Go, Bryson. No, but um, <laughs> no, a lot of time, a lot of reaction channels fake their reactions. Would you agree? Oh yeah, that's come why on, I can say I, you, you can kind of see it, but like I don't, I'm not very big on negativity mm -hmm. about pointing people out and saying this and the third. I exactly. see it and I'll know it myself, but I won't go out and I'll I'll, I'll just bash them for it. No, I no, just make sure like, you, I stay true to myself. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you you can tell when like they're lying though. Like, like that's the thing. You can tell well, when you can kind of tell that too by, by how they they, not even just lying about how like they're pre they're prepared. They know what they want to say before it's sometimes even been said. Mm -hmm. like, or like before it even happened, you know what I mean? And then I've seen a couple of cases with that, you know what I mean? Luckily, it's not with anyone I I know on tape, I mean, on YouTube, because like, you know what I mean? That would be a little hard for me, but you know what I mean? But it's just, it, it's, it, it's some people, some people just want the reaction. I had people ask me like, oh, can you watch this? And I watched it already. Like, oh, I don't care. I just want to see you watch it. I'm like, sorry, buddy. I can't do that. You know what I mean? Like, even if, yeah. if I messed up a reaction and I, like I did a couple times where I deleted the video. I won't react to that video. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's like, damn it, I screwed up. They didn't get that first reaction. To me, that's not a reaction. That now it's it's kind of it's kind of a little different. You know what I mean? I don't know how else to call it, yeah. but it just is to me. Like the first thought that comes in your head, go with it. That's how I feel. Just exactly. Go with it. But no. sometimes that comes back to backfire. No, because whenever I whenever I say oh, I don't does. like yeah, a song, a lot. I get so much hate when I say when I'm like saying I don't like the song. Like, well, yes, yeah, because you're saying you don't like someone else's favorite. Thing. No, what I'm saying is like. I like. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just not like my taste of music. Like, like if if they're like singing, I like I like raps and stuff. Like when they break. Like, yeah, but see, I I I know that about you already, already, Bryson. I can see that already about. Oh, I for B drag. <laughs> I can see this already about you. That when you explain, like for someone like me, I look at every little thing that someone says, the words, the way they say it, their body posture, all that, and I can read about how you're saying it. But a lot of people don't do what I do. So when they when they hear you, they just all they hear is words. They, it's like yeah. they see it on a piece of paper. They don't look at you as a person with emotion. They don't look at you about like how you're saying what you said to me about oh it, it's not my personal taste of choice. They don't look at that. All they hear exactly it, it was written off a uh, prompter or whatever the hell that word is called. You know what I mean? So it's I, like I think you got they, it. Ca ca prompter? A prompt? Chiropromter? I don't even. Chiropractor? Yeah, it, it was something like, like that. Teleprompter. <laughs> teleprompter. That's the word. Teleprompter. There, there you go. Guys. Chiropractor. Well, to answer my own question from like 20 oh, minutes that... ago. Oh, wow. We, we got so... See, that, that, that's, that's the point of a podcast, to get off topic. But Matt, wait, what was the question? I completely... the mo my most, my, in my <laughs> opinion, who's the most talented K-pop group? Don't say Girls Day. It's not. Okay. It would be between these two groups, either Shiny or Shiny. Winner. <gasps> baby, baby. And neither. No, 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 no. Winner, but I know a lot about Shiny. They've been, they've been, they've been wearing themselves on me well, a little bit more often. And I'm actually, uh, I don't know. I'm, I might have to do a little readjustment with my groups of uh, biases. I, I, yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's tough though because, like I say, everyone is, is. I don't know. It's, it's really tough. Everyone's unique in their own style. But what would you say about winners though? Because I really don't know too much about them. Oh, winners are from YG. It's just. They kind of debuted. They won a show against the um, members of Icon, Team A versus Team B. And oh, Icon was the funniest group. I love them. Well, they uh they beat out Icon, and that's why they're called Winner. And if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, guys, Is that correct really me. Why? Yeah, correct me in the that's comments. A, that's amazing. If I'm wrong, I love but that. so they did that, and then they debuted, and apparently they were a huge success. But then YG didn't give them a comeback for two years or a year and a half or something. Isn't Bobby or uh, Minnow in that? Minnow's in Minnow. And then. They can't, had a comeback in January, and then they still haven't done anything since January. So they had like nothing come out. Did they but, have baby baby in January. Yes. Oh. But um, it's just I think they're most one of the most talented because they, overall they have 
an all-star lineup, kind of. It's like YG's all-star lineup in winter, but they like, just don't use them. I feel like they took all the types of members, like rappers mm-hmm. and vocalists, and just found like a, a middle part and just worked it. You could say that. I, 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 yeah, I, I love the contrast between their uh, performers. What mm-hmm. members? I got, I got to find out more about this group now, man. You guys get me intrigued just by hearing the way you're talking about them. It's a, a they're a very soft group. It's like a very – um. How how would you not ballady but like ball what not they're not like they did you just make up a word yes <laughs> uh it, it's like it, they have a very soft sound to them like they rap to soft beats and it, it's not like a hardcore group it's but it's basically like, they can find any instrumental and figure out how to use it yes there we go there we go but then the um the second part to my that's definitely intriguing that's just yeah. not easy to do the um the reason I chose shiny as the other one is because just. All of those members can have solos and have successful solos. And to have a group that can have, like, well, first off, the obvious Taman, who can have... Drip drop. Yeah, all of these <laughs> solos and just be talented like that. I was about to say, he made a drip drop, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, all right, yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. In the desert. At that amazing dance. Like, and that, too, Shiny is an amazing dance group, also. Shanae <laughs> like I mean, the, if you ask, like, and on my top eight, like, because we started doing an opinion series where we did like, oh god, your top eight favorite groups. Oh god, not an opinion. Yeah, I, I've I been did, watching some of those. Yeah, I did not have Shiny or Winner on my list of top eight. Winner was in my honorable mentions. Oh, Winner was far up, far up mine. But I still thought of them like as some of the most talented, even though I don't listen to them as much, which is kind of weird. Well, honestly, God's truth, every single one of them damn groups are talented, man. Exactly. It's, it, it, I, the, oh yes. The harder part is putting who above who. That's the hardest part about K-pop. Too. Mm-hmm. No, that's the risky part. Thing, <laughs> I, I, screw the risk to me. You know what I mean? There we it, go. Like you said before, Bryce. And this is my personal shit. You know what I mean? I love like, it. Exactly. I love it, Reggie. You know, so it's, it's 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 like fuck that other shit. I just need to like be true to myself, be real to myself. That's it because that's what everyone wants and anywhere. You know what I mean? Like if we saw most of our subscribers in public, they would just want the same thing. You know what I mean? Exactly. Regardless that's what... of. That, that that yes, that is exactly it. Cause that's why I have my own videos of reading Bryson Hay comments. I've been waiting to say that in this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta see this one. Well, our, our time is almost up, so I just want to finish with this uh, one last. Wow, let's say that's that that went by fast. This one last quick. It was fun. That's why. Exactly. <laughs> oh yes, but this one last quick um, question. I'll start with Riggy, and then we'll just go around like we did last time. Um, Riggy, if you were in a K-pop group. What would be your stage name? Oh God! And what would be your position? Ooh, I like this. I like this one. Okay. Um. Damn, that's a good one. That's. Oh man, I like that question. That's a good one. I, I, I can see Reggie as a hype man. Cool. I can see you as like a really good hype man. Oh he said yes, hype, that's by the way. I'm the I'm the I'm the, I'm the, I'm the Energizer Bunny over here. Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, a K-pop name. What would mine be? Holy smackles. Uh. Sh- Damn, man, that's a toughie right there. I, I want to know what would you think of my name to be. Let me let me ask you that one. Oh God, <laughs> um, it, ha- it has to begin with an R, or something. Well, I mean, what what position would you be? Because that's going to help me figure it out. All right, the position. Um, all right. Damn. I can see you be a can't rapper sing for shit. Yeah, I, can, I must say I can't vocals for nothing. That ain't happening. Dancing, <laughs> I could learn. But uh, I'd say rap because I, I like to do a little, you know what I mean, a little shit to myself every here and there. Okay. I can see him being I'm an icon. I'm actually going to be in a music video with a couple of my boys coming soon. They were, Ooh. They were telling me about they want me to do some, uh, they're going to make my lyrics for me and whatnot, you know what I mean? So Ooh, they're going to we're, we're gonna, we're gonna be seeing something soon coming from Riggy with this. So your position's Ooh, rapper. I'm going to call me the the, the, uh, the Raging Riggy. The, ra- the ra- can... Did you say Raging or Racing? The, the Raging Riggy. Raging Riggy. There we go. Raging rat. The rapper is Raging Riggy. So that like that sounds like a villain in a superhero movie. I love it because it sounds like Augusta D. That's what I was. Oh thinking God. Of. Yeah, Augusta D. I love how he just he August. just yeah. I say August D too, but See? I know people be getting tight when I be saying August, August D. I'm like yo. So I I try to you know what I mean like I guess I try to cater to everyone here and there. Sometimes mm-hmm. you know what I mean I just do what I do. Sometimes I try to there cater. Well, Bryson, what about you? Stage name and well, position. Well, we, we already know my stage name, B Dragon. Um, s- stage Blood position. Dragon. Oh yeah, sounds like fuck. What position? Right? You could be dancer. You could be leader. You could be maknae. If you want to be the youngest, you could be the rapper. You could be lead vocal, main vocal. Well, I've I've, vocals. Try, I've tried rapping, and we've all seen how that went. So horribly bad. Yes. Um, 
What would the hype man be? The hype man? Is there like what position would that be? Could I be like a? When you say hype man, I think a hope. That's the first person I think of. It's when a you dancer. Yeah, sure. I'd be, I'd be a dancer then, even though I can't dance, but I'm sure I can dance better than rap. Hey, huh. You never know. You like, like I said, have someone write some lines for you, and then like just, just go through it. You know what I mean? Because like, like I said, I, I grew up with a lot of rapper friends. You know what I mean? I actually, I, I can. I live. I'm gonna brag here. I can what? rap, but I don't have the voice to rap. Like Matt can, Matt can rap fast. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, but I just don't have that deep voice if, that if, everyone if I loves. could, if I could give Matt my like deepness. I mean, my voice isn't deep, but it's deeper than Matt's. If I could give him my nah, deepness, I know what you mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like then, this, the base of it, the base of it. You mean? Yeah, the, that. What? I could not think of that word, base. Oh there my. There you God. go. <laughs> oh, I need that. And oh, then yeah, I, I would be a star. Base, I would be. Baby. I don't even know what I would be. I would I would be Rat Monster's pupil. Oh God! Watch watch your words. I'm Ooh. saying he's my master. Oh, <laughs> I'm oh, saying yeah, I'm his yeah, student. Yeah, yeah. So is he pupil? Rat, is he the dominatrix? That's Rat Monster's Padawan, right? I'm, there. Yes, I'm his Padawan. Star Wars. So Matt, what would your stage name be? Oh, you see, I like to just keep it simple. I would go with Matt. Oh no, Matt Dog. Matt Dog. Okay, I like that actually. Isn't there a group called Mad Dog? There's Matt Town a... and Top Dog. There you go. Oh yeah, I know. I said it was something with a dog, and I forgot. I just did a reaction the other day. Top Dog. dog. Mm-hmm. Oh, we just watched Top Dog today. Yeah. Was you watch that rainy? Yep, rainy day. I was. I'm. I've been oh, obsessed with Top Dog. That pink hair, though, man. I think. Yeah, he had the yeah. pink hair in that one, right? Oh yes. That, I, I, yeah, that, reminded me of Ren. Pink, that shit caught my eye like a mile away. I was like, yo, what the. Fuck? And <laughs> to finish my question, my position would have to be rapper. I would just have to work on talking really deep somehow. I don't know how, but I, I don't know. I love. Well, you can always. Put them, you know what I mean. Like people like uh, train their voices for shit like that. So oh, yeah, it's definitely you can adjust that shit too. No, just just rap like Future. <laughs> or you or you could be like designer. Ben, 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 Ben. Scott. Uh, <laughs> okay, Reggie. Well, our time is up. Um, well, we want to thank you so much for joining us. And guys, if you are not subscribed to Ridgey, go check out his reactions and skits to K-pop and, check and out, other stuff. Check out K-pop Crazy for your first video. Well, check out, uh-huh. Yes, check out all this stuff. The link is in the description to his channel down below. And go show him some love. And if any of Ridgey's fans are here... I was here, just about to say, can I say something? I want to let people know. If do you're it. A fuck toy, do if, it. If you're a fuck toy and you're here, guys... Subscribe to K-pop, call K-pop, man. They're awesome. They're fun to watch. They give you a nice perspective from both sides of the story, especially from two different per person's point of views that are totally different. And it's always good to have a little different uh, objective perspective upon things. And oh, I'm telling you, fuck toys, you'll really, you'll really enjoy their uh, content. That was a bar. Got to give it a chance. You just dropped a bar. Oh, thank you so much. Objective Ooh, perspective. I'm, drop, I'm dropping bars over dropping here, bars. baby boy. Oh, Bracey, can we get um? Can we get you and Reggie to freestyle rap us out? Uh, he probably. Oh, oh God, oh God. All oh right. God, we're gonna try this. I guess we gotta do this for the fuck toys and the call K pop fuck toys. Oh God, <laughs> oh God. All right, um, let's go, Bracey. You start right. it. Reggie will finish it. Eat, finish it. Oh, okay. Uh, Matt, drop a beat. Just like smack yourself in the uh. face and like smack your chest. <laughs> oh, all right, go. Hey. Yeah. All right, this is Bee Dragon. Let's go. Eat the banana, let it to Santa. I'm in here like Hammer. We're going to Atlanta. Brawls in Atlanta. I got brawls in Atlanta. They eating the banana with my boy Ridgy. Go, Ridgy. Ridgy's over here chilling and doing it. He don't give in a shit. He about to show you how he be doing it. <laughs> Chilling here, I can't be doing else but doing it. I'm team fuck toys, I love them all cause we doing it. There we go. I can't hey. rap. Hey. Yeah! Reggie, yeah! I did that for y'all though. I said like doing it like four times. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you so much, Reggie, for joining us. Remember to check out no Reggie seven twenty's channel down below. Please drop a like on one on Reggie's K pop crazy and all the other vids. By the way, check out Logic Sriracha from Reggie. No, or Tech Nine. K pop and chill the safe way, everyone. I love you, Richie. You're real. I love y'all too, man. Keep it funky. And yo, it was a pleasure fresh. being on your, your podcast. I really appreciate it for even giving me the chance. I love it. You guys are awesome. Keep up the good gravy hotness. Look at that. Gravy hotness. I love gravy on potatoes.